Francis. Hey guys, it's Duck Hero MV, and today I'm going to be showing you how to train your Duck Duck puppy uh, up to the age of about eight months or so. Uh, I hope you enjoy. If you find it helpful, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up or uh, commenting. And if you would like to see more stuff like this, please, like I said, thumbs up, commenting. It really helps. In a hallway with one way in, one way out, have the dog sit, hold their collar, release the pup, and say the name after throwing your plush duck toy. Call them back, keep on praising them, and you do this until the dog willingly comes back pretty often. Train with your dog about three times a week for around an hour at a time, always end positive. After growing some confidence with that, bring your dog in the yard with a leash, do the exact same thing, take off the leash whenever you get comfortable, keep teaching the sit, release only on their name, say other things that aren't their name, release only on the pup's name. If possible, take the dog to an area similar to where you'll be hunting with variety of locations and wear camo, something you'd wear hunting. Do this till the dog consistently comes back. Now you're not going to hold the dog's collar anymore. You might need the leash, maybe not, depending on how reliable your dog is, where you are, uh, how comfortable you are. But around this time, you're also going to graduate to canvas or plastic bumpers. I personally recommend canvas first because it's better for the dog to go from plush to canvas to hard plastic. It just makes it easier on them to understand it and it's a smoother transition, I found. You're going to want a variety for the bumpers, you know, different sizes, colors, materials, like I said, the canvas and the plastic. Basically, the dog should be prepared for any kind of bird that falls out of the sky. And you're also going to want to start doing fake outs. Not really throwing it, just making them think you're going to, and then make sure they don't go unless you let them. you should start introducing your dog, if you're going to, uh, to their e-collar. They should start wearing this. Uh, so you just start your training with that, the basic obedience with uh, uh, however you're going to be using your e-collar. Mine, I use tone means come here, and just the shock and the vibration is um, no. So if I say no, then they'll get that shock or the vibration. So then when they associate, uh, then they'll start to associate no with the punishment and they'll listen better. So that's what I use my e-collar for, this is a good time for it. Around this age is when you're really going to want to introduce them to water and guns because the worst thing you have with a uh, duck dog is having it afraid of the gun or the water. So now it's an important time for them to get associated with that. So bring them to the lake, uh, bring them anywhere you go shooting. I mean, not anywhere, but if you're going shooting in a friend's house in the field, bring your dog, tie them out, and make sure you just keep them positive so they're not afraid. Around this age, your dog should be pretty consistent, so you're going to want to mix it up. Introduce it to different scenarios, such as new environments, dogs, people, decoys. You're going to add some distractions that you would probably find on a hunt, so you're challenging them, getting them ready. I added duck calls, decoys, and my cameraman for this one. I also changed to more realistic bumpers. I used a dock and dead fowl or a bumper with a bird wing attached. And you're gonna wanna start spreading these decoys about once a week for your dog training. For adding realism to your uh, bumpers, you can either use a dock and dead fowl, which itself is already way more real, or you can just put on a duck or pheasant wing, depending on what you're doing for your regular bumpers. But um, if you're not using the wing, I would definitely recommend some nice waterfowl scent. You might wanna uh, use some of this thing. Really nice, I got this from Dawkins as well with my Dawkins dead fowl. It's just some wax you put on it so your dog knows what waterfowl is pheasant as well. Waterfowl, pheasant, all that stuff smells like. So it just adds a bit more realism to it. Pro tip. Most people will put their dogs in their own blind or a box, and this is when you're going to want to train to go in there on command, and they also have to pay attention to what's going on. They just need to be exactly like they were sitting next to you, except the only difference is they're in a box. So they need to be just as attentive, just as obedient, and just have to be overall the same good dog.
you're not done. For future training, you're going to take it on fake duck hunts every few months. This is just sitting with it, calling, throwing some ducks, shooting some blanks. Fake duck hunt scenario every couple months.